Hey everybody, Omni Griffin here, and welcome back. We're playing as the Silent Ascension Level 3. We got Ascension Level 3 unlocked on both the Ironclad and the Silent. We got the Ironclad last time. And yeah, the Silent is the one that I consider harder, but we, we're kind of in the lead, as it were. All right, our next three comets have one HP. We cannot get to an elite. Guaranteed. It's hypothetically possible. Our other option is upgrade a card. And the answer is neutralize. Neutralize is a beautiful card. It's super powerful. And it's going to be our best friend. So we've got one, two, three. Three, a lot of question marks. Campfires, shops. Seems like a really good plan to me. We go this way, I think. We, we hit a shop. I could... I could dodge the shops and then have a lot of money at that shop. That Actually, you know what? I'm going to try that. I like question marks, but I don't think I give enough due to, to combat. Like, we're going to take some damage, yeah, but overall, I think it's better for us to pick up more gold because we get more gold from the combat. And with Neutralize being as powerful as it is for us... Chances of us taking damage in these early fights is significantly reduced. Like, we got him. Dead to rights. No damage. Regen potion? That's even better. Oh, okay, we're starting this, I guess. Noxious Fumes is good. It, it is. Okay, um, I can kill this... I will take one damage. I think that's... If I played three defends... I would take less. But I think one damage here is okay. Uh, I'm gonna be weird here and not play the Noxious Fumes. Don't think this fight's gonna go long enough for the Noxious Fumes to be justified. Well... At that point, it's a might as well type thing. There's literally no reason not to. He's dead next turn. We don't have to do anything. I'm still going to hit him, though. I'm taking the footwork. I'm really going to be looking for a mummified hand. That's how this is going to go. Alright, so... I'm putting him at killable in one hit. I think that's better than playing the Noxious Fumes. Because, yeah, exactly this. Oh, we don't have a strike. Shit. We don't have a strike. That means the next Neutralize is probably going there. Um, well, they're both powering up, so we'll just kill. Yeah, we couldn't actually get through that. I guess I could have killed that one. It didn't really matter in the end, though. It was a slight misplay, but it didn't hurt us. We haven't removed enough cards yet for, I think, me to justify doing that. Alright. I'm gonna take the 4 damage to get the 6 damage on him. We've got a regen potion, so I'm not gonna feel as bad about this, but I do not want him stealing our gold. Yeah, the problem is I'm taking this damage. We're taking 10 here, which is not good. Unfortunately, this combat is going to go longer than this. I'm throwing this potion. He's going to take 7 next turn, so we, we're going to take some damage from this. I'm weakened. He gets away. Fuck me. All right, he stole 30 of our gold. That... Oh, I'm salty. I'm salty! That's really shitty, and I hate it. That's... We, that doesn't happen very often, is the other thing. It doesn't happen very often at all. If we had played that poison on him right from the get-go. We got weakened, man. That's what happens. Okay. 
flying these good. Oh boy. Um, well, this is happening since he's dealing the most. If I play the footwork and two defends, I defend for 14. Here. I'm drinking this. I'm going to do this. We are going to take four damage here. So my goal is to kill at least one of these. I have to do this if I don't want to take any more damage. This guy's gonna die. He's powering up, so that's that's the main target here. I basically just need to wait out the, these remaining three turns. Luckily, I have the time to play Noxious Fumes. As long as I've got the defense to make this work, it doesn't really matter. I, yep. All I have to do is not actually kill him right here. We will get the full benefit of our healing potion. And he will be dead. The strength potion could be very nice. Look, I like Deflect. I do. It's a free 4 block. I'm not really aiming for like a super thin deck here. Okay, that's happening. We're only going to take 2 damage here. We want to focus on the, the, the side guys because they attack in harmony. They alternate, basically, guaranteed. I don't think there's ever a time they don't do that, but I could be wrong. So by doing this, I'm only taking one damage. I get an extra energy next turn. But basically, it, it splits the burden so you, you can get uh, an alternate amount of block instead of needing 9 and then 18. Whereas if you kill this one, you need 0 and then 18, which is also bad. We can weaken you... I don't want to discard a Dazed, but I don't really have a choice. The poison is going to start stacking up on these guys, so we are doing okay. Uh, I am going to kill you. Oh, okay, I'm going to take damage this turn. Nothing I can do about that. We're going to aim for the weaker one now, because this one's dead. Then we take two. We're only down 10 HP, so it's not 100% terrible or anything like that. That's right, I forgot I had extra energy. Well, this is very lucky. We managed to kill the one that was going to punch us. This is how that this dazed crap works. Now we're taking two damage here, but we're getting rid of four dazed in our deck. How many do we have? We've got at least four left. He's dead next turn, guaranteed from the poison. The sundial is decent. Skewer is good. Skewer is very good. Alright, we are allowed to get a little bit of setup in here. because he is making us frail to start with. Which is not great for us, but... He gets to play everything though, so it works. The two wounds is not particularly great. This puts him at 33. Yeah, I'm waiting. So we're, we're gonna basically be frail forever anyway. So by doing it this way, we're going to have two slimes that have 14 hit points instead of two that have significantly more than that. So if I do this, I do this, and I do this, you're dead next turn to poison, and we don't even care. I'll still flying me. Yes, I'm taking a second Noxious Fumes. 
footwork was a good find here. Yeah, I want I want to play both noxious fumes on the same turn. That doesn't wake him up, but it does make him weak next turn. It doesn't actually matter. Okay, he's gonna wake up. Yeah, I figured that might happen. I made a I made a misplay there. I, it doesn't matter here because I've got the block, but I did misplay. Darn, we are gonna take one damage here. The poison is stacking, and that's the important part. Like we are we are losing some decks and strength here, but This is 30 damage. So he's done. Strawberry, max HP raised by 7. That's very nice. I'm t is, okay, I like Envenom. I like Envenom a lot. I'll be the first to tell you that. But Dash is insane. Dash is legitimately insane. The Regal Pillow means when we rest, we rest for a lot more. That is a real shame. That is a real shame. Because that's what I would have wanted. Um, upgrade two attacks. What attacks do we even have in our deck right now? Ooh, we've got a really low chance of hitting Flying Knee. Or Calcum's okay. I think what we really want to do is this. Apply a debuff to an enemy. They take three damage. Oh, we can't afford that anymore anyway. Um, I like Ori Calcum. It gives us a fighting chance on turns. Like, this Orichalcum is going to make our day here. Uh, Dash is also going to make our day. Um, I believe this is the most amount of damage we can do. But the Orichalcum means that whenever he deals small amounts of damage, like, we're good. We're not going to take any damage. Uh, it's when you play a skill. So we are going to be made vulnerable from this, which is not great, but, oh my god. This may be a mistake. We are only taking 10 damage here. Oh, we're only going to take 12 damage. Make it eight. I think I think we've got him dead is is why I made that gamble, and we do. Blue candle, we can play curses. Alright. After image, really good. I'm picking up a lot of powers, which might be a mistake. But I think it's gonna be good for us in the long run. Flying knee. You know, I'm going to take the two damage and get the Ori Calcum. I think it's better for us in the long run here. Because he's dead. I'm making a poison deck, but I'm not actually making a poison deck. Okay. We can play it. So we just got a bunch of gold. I'm looking for Duvu doll, by the way. I know I could remove this, and I accept that removing it is a good plan, but I'm removing a strike. Um, I have faith that I can do this. I'm gonna be upgrading powers. I'm hoping, A, I'm hoping for Mummified Hand. Um, but B. Oh, this is depressing. Oh, I forgot. This goes against Ori Calcum. Uh, 
That is 24. We'll go ahead and throw this down. It's his big turn, so... So I can play that, take one damage, and it's out of my deck, which means I'm hoping... I'm basically setting up my deck to have possible synergies. I'm looking for Mummified Hand. I'm looking for uh, Dubu Doll. Things of that nature. It doesn't matter if I play this, that's actually better. Unfortunately, Ori Calcum is not as good as my deck as I was hoping. I probably shouldn't have spent the money on it. That's okay. It's okay. Well, literally doesn't matter. We can't play the status items, which would be the next thing that I'd really want to get. Uh, gonna deal 8 damage to us. That is 45 damage. We will take 10 grand total. We're really just the poison. The poison is building up. Is is the is really the fantastic thing. Um, the neutralize is very important. Deflect, defend, strike. So we're going to take 13 damage here and be down to 12. But he is dead. If we deal one damage to him, what do you know? He's dead. Burst is good. Obtain a curse? Yes. Extra energy and get a curse, which we can play and get rid of and be done with. And hope for Duvu Doll. I have the money. Wait, where did I get so much money? I honestly don't know. But that means that I want to find shops. So this way has one, two, three. No guaranteed shops, but a lot of question marks, which could probably be a shop. And this one has one... Two. The best we can do is two, but we will. We could see a ton of shops. So I think that's what I'm going with here. We're going to take five damage here. It's unfortunate. We got all the block. This is silly in a silly way. We are slowly, slowly lowering his plated armor. That's basically what we're accomplishing here. And he's down to 11. We are slowly killing him. We are surpassing the amount being thrown at us. Oh god, why did I have- oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I just, just played four energy worth of stuff. No, I played three energy worth of stuff. I'm worse than- Why am I misplaying so poorly? This is better. The block potion is nice. Quick slash is really good. a relic. I really don't know what happens if we do that. The lantern is good. Okay, we play the footwork. Play that. Play the deflect. Um, we focus on taking down one of these guys. Because there's he's strengthening up. We actually... We don't have a dagger spray. I realize this. That is one, two, three, it's eight, it's 21 damage coming at me. But it could only be nine. Man down. 
we do need to take these guys out now that they're on the ground, but... It's kind of a hard thing to justify. Like, I can't... I, I just didn't draw the stuff. I, I need to start removing blocks from my deck. So, quick slash... We got 14 damage coming at us, which we can block. Great. Let's take care of the thing on the ground. In fact... There's that right there. Let's play that. Let's kill you. That actually gives us a block. Didn't even think about that. Hmm, all the blocked. Alright, so we're going to neutralize you since you're actually dealing damage this turn. Five damage. Dang, that's annoying. Um, flying knee. You're just dead. I definitely need playing skills. So much block. We're playing a very block heavy deck. He's dead, but. The catalyst isn't upgraded, though. If it was upgraded, I would have taken it. Yeah, you block like mad. I don't care. We're gonna take one damage. Which is actually pretty good considering. The weakened is not helpful. But the frail is probably worse. We're gonna survive though, just because we're that good. Man, I managed to play all the cards in my hand. How did that even- oh, that's right, because I was energized, I think. Gotcha. Flying knee, really good. <sighs> Sneko skull. Apotheosis, though. Here's the thing. Sneko skull's really good. We've got a little ways to go before our next shop, but if we take Sneko Skull, we're probably not going to be able to afford one of the other relics. Which means I think I pass. Because I really want Mummified Hand. Or Doo Doo Doll. I know this is crazy, but I think we need to actually try to work to our outs here. Uh, I am going to be upgrading the burst because that could be really good for us we're gonna play the flying knee oh right that doesn't help us because we haven't played the thing yet all right, so that's 15 block. We do not have that much. That is unfortunate for us. We will take a wound here, which is unfortunate, but that's okay, I suppose. That is 28 damage. That is 20 damage. Our deck is thick enough that we're not drawing the neutralize very quickly. It's kind of like the hint. Focusing on not taking damage, I think, is, is where we go here. Um, do I 
I mean, we're building up a lot of poison on him, so... Okay, that is 30 block. 30 damage. Which I can't compete with. We're taking 10 damage there. That sucks. That was weak, too, I feel like pointing out. He's dead. Meat on the bone is actually very, very nice. I will take a Bane. I've committed that much at this point. So, what do I want to upgrade here? Um, I think... I think we want to upgrade our after image to make it innate. We found the anchor. I think we go ahead and upgrade the skewer. Upgrading the poisons is useful, don't get me wrong, it's just I don't think it's as good as I want it to be. Those are not what I'm looking for. I mean, I'm looking for something, so it's one of those things. That's a good find. I th that is enough block exactly, so I don't mess with it. I don't mess with him because it increases his strength. I disagree that it is unplayable. I could deal 7 or 10 damage to him. Yeah, I'll do it. We're not taking any damage from it, so. <sighs> Gotta get, There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I need to take care of the shielding, guys. Or this is going to get really ugly really fast. Because I don't have any other AoE. actually can't deal damage to anything. I can deal damage to that. He's dead anyway next turn. So we take three damage. Okay, we've got multiple things dead to poison here. Deal 10 damage, gain 13 block. We'll take that. Might as well play it. It would be nice to have calipers. Wow. Um, I mean, it's worth pointing out that we did, in fact, block all of that. Like we did. Now we hope to draw skewer because I have six energy. Ta da! Bronze scales is actually amazing. I'm taking well laid plans also. No mummified hand. Whenever we add a power, it's upgraded. Fine. Remove a card from the deck. It gives me incentive to pick powers. Um, doesn't really matter what we play here. We're about to enter Confusion Land, which is terrible. I guess it did matter what we played. We get to keep the burst here. So, the Neutralize is good. If I play this, I will have played three cards. So I have four block and... Okay. Because we have... I do not want to retain any of those because those are all priced terribly. Bronze Scales is going to allow us to basically justify 
however we spend this. I'm not keeping it, it's way too expensive. Okay, Noxious Fumes is at a good point. Flying me, Survivor. I should have kept the defend. No, no, I needed the defend to not take damage. Alright, this is bad. Flying knee, dash, deflect. We're taking nine damage. It's not worth it. We are now below half health, though, so we will heal for double. What the shit, guys? See, that's the kind of shit that gets you killed when you low roll and all your defense cost frickin' three. Doesn't actually matter, he's dead. We do get the extra heal, which is nice. I'm still hoping for Mummified Hand here. Hey, who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? Him, huh? Um, I'm dumb, so this is why I'm doing this. It's one of those things where if we are trying to have a chance, I think this is the way to go. Play as much good stuff as we can. We don't have retain yet. Oh man, eight damage every single time we get punched. That is something special. Now we are gonna take a decent chunk of damage here, just because but he's taking eight every single time he hits us, so that's a thing. He's poisoned, so that's good. Want to retain those defense. Increase our block potential. Flying knee, strike. Defend, defend is enough. We will then retain these two cards, which is very nice. For if we need them, which it looks like we're going to. Though the neutralize is very nice. 19, so that is 12, which is actually 14. We'll take two damage to get the extra damage in. I know we're holding on to these and we've held on to them to a while, but he is going to have his turn where he attacks like a madman. Um, so here's where I end up keeping the burst and the survivor instead of the deflect because that is a lot that we can do right there quick slash is not as efficient this is better than both of them he's now going to clear all of his stats or all of his debuffs Yup. Oh, I didn't retain anything. I'm an idiot. Holy crap. Did I really not retain anything? I just powered... Like, I was back in... Yes, this is when I needed it. We weren't going to get through that defense, so... We can at least keep both of those. I'm not feeling your wrath there, buddy. Um, I think you need to reconsider. So he's got 68 HP. Fantastic.
Actually, wait. That's 50 damage. Hmm. Bullet time doesn't seem terrible. We don't have a lot of card draw. I don't think we have any card draw, actually. Bullet time doesn't really help us, though. It doesn't hurt us, but it doesn't help us. I think it's just an extra card that we don't end up playing, so I think we take Glass Knife. Uh, we take the Specimen because it transfers poison, which is better than nothing. Okay, I'm looking for a late shop. We don't really have any good late shops. That's the latest shop we have guaranteed. And that lets us pick if we want to hit fight two more. So we can fight one on our way up. Yeah, I think that's how we play this. We want to hit I think I want to hit some question marks. Oh, this is gonna suck. Thirty damage, huh? I don't want the dazed in my deck the problem. It's a good chunk of damage here, though. Neutralize. Bane is going to deal 14 damage. Problem is I don't have my routine yet, so playing that, it would be really nice to save them, but we just kind of can't do it yet. Alright, so the footwork is going to be pretty crucial here. There's gain 13 block then deal the damage. Okay, we can't kill him this turn, that's fine. He's dead next turn, so our goal is to get 16 block. Guess what didn't happen? It's worth doing this because we get one block out of it. Oh, that's right. They don't explode. They should, but they don't. Lose all our gold, gain a relic. No, I'm trying. I'm trying to find, trying to find our dream, our dream man, our dream boat. I'm actually not going to play that injury. Because I don't think I need to right now. In fact, I should have retained it. I should have retained it. I'm a dummy. You are poisoned. This is 30 damage. I should have retained it because it's a card to discard with Survivor. And it prevents me from drawing it again. More than enough to defend against you. You are somehow not actually dead. You're dead when you hit me, which is the fun part. Which means I just didn't have to play my curses here. I can't say no to a flying knee that's been upgraded, man. I'm I'm a sucker. Oh boy. It's good, it's just not what I was hoping for. I can't play all the things I want to play. Oh yes I can. I totally can. Problem is he's gonna make me frail.
once again exactly block. The poison is going to slowly chip away at him once we get there anyway. Problem is that. Right now we're about to take a decent chunk of damage. This is nuts. So I'm going to take two and then eight from him. But he's going to die to the poison, like, almost immediately. If I could defend myself... Super dead. It's just. Oh, that's right. We got meat on the bone. Meat on the bone saves our bacon so much. I shouldn't be taking as many knees as I am, but. Alright. This is all about killing them quickly. You, you are the target. You're gonna take some damage here. We're probably gonna end up healing at the next campfire. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Stupid burn. Ouch. Ouch. We are gonna end up healing at the next campfire. Dash. Defend. Defend. Yep, that works. Oh, that will retain the glass knife. That's really good. We're not dead yet. We are dead. Holy shit, we are dead. We got hosed. There's like a slight chance in hell that I don't die, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Oh, he's not poisoned. How is he not poisoned? And we're dead. Fuck. The Ori Calcum is not enough. Well, we died after 20 minutes, so I can't continue. Uh, I probably should have taken the lizard tail instead of the... We didn't have a poison enough run, I think, to justify the specimen. So, I think that was my bad. But hey, it happens. That was a very interesting deck. We didn't find the synergy we wanted. And that's the danger of trying to build for a synergy that you don't have. It's nice if your deck... If, like, if I were to have found Mummified Hand... What I really also needed was the top. I needed the top. Anyway, there's a lot of things that run needed that it just didn't quite have. And it was doing decently. It's just those those two enemies were a bit much, unfortunately. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time. But until then, keep your gears turning. <laughs>